Where the first humans came from, and when they first set foot on the soils of North America, has long been one of the great scientific mysteries. For generations, scholars, archaeologists, and anthropologists have debated the origins of the first Americans, each new discovery adding fuel to an already heated controversy. But recently, in the windswept heart of Oregon's rugged high desert, a discovery has emerged that may permanently rewrite the timeline. It is a discovery that pushes human presence in the Americas thousands of years further back than previously believed. This revelation comes from a modest rock shelter tucked into the volcanic landscape of central Oregon. The site is known as Rimrock Draw. For archaeologists, it has become one of the most important windows into deep human antiquity on the continent. What has been uncovered here suggests that this shallow cave may be the oldest human-occupied site in North America, predating every previously identified settlement. The Rimrock Draw excavation began in 2011 when researchers from the University of Oregon's Museum of Natural and Cultural History turned their attention to the unassuming rock overhang just outside the small town of Riley. Earlier surface finds hinted at its potential, but it wasn't until the team began digging down, carefully, methodically, layer by layer, that the true depth of its significance began to unfold. Led by experienced archaeologists using cutting-edge excavation techniques and documentation tools, the team worked to preserve even the most fragile fragments of the past. Their efforts revealed a remarkable tapestry of ancient life, stone tools, animal remains, and artifacts crafted from materials that had clearly been carried great distances. For decades, the dominant theory was simple. The first Americans were believed to be the Clovis people, arriving around 13,000 years ago. They were said to have crossed from Siberia over the Bering Land Bridge, then called Beringia, and filtered south through an ice-free corridor that opened between two massive ice sheets. Yet mounting evidence has challenged this narrative. Studies now suggest the corridor did not become passable until roughly 11,000 to 12,000 years ago, and even then it would have been barren and unlivable. The neat, tidy story of the Clovis First model began to unravel with discoveries such as the Meadowcroft Rock Shelter in Pennsylvania and Cooper's Ferry in Idaho, both dated to at least 16,000 years ago. These early arrivals hinted that the first Americans likely traveled by sea along the Pacific coastline, following what researchers call the Kelp Highway, a rich coastal ecosystem that would have offered food, shelter, and safe passage. But Rimrock Draw was about to push the timeline even further. The first shock came when excavators uncovered fragments of camel teeth and jawbone. Most people don't know that camels actually evolved in North America before migrating into Asia and Africa, eventually going extinct on their home continent. These remains belonged to Camelops hesternus, an Ice Age camel standing 7 feet tall and weighing nearly 1,800 pounds. What made this find astounding was not the camel itself, but the unmistakable signs that it had been butchered. Human tool marks, deliberate, precise, scarred the bone. Nearby, stone tools were found in direct association with the remains. This was not an animal that simply wandered into a cave and died. It had been hunted, killed, and processed by human hands. Then came the detail that changed everything. These camel remains were discovered beneath a blanket of volcanic ash. In archaeology, volcanic ash is a priceless gift, nature's perfect time stamp. Each eruption leaves behind ash with a unique chemical signature, allowing scientists to identify exactly which eruption it came from. This particular ash layer had been deposited by the Mount St. Helens Set S eruption, a colossal event that took place over 15,600 years ago. Anything buried beneath that ash had to be older. Next came radiocarbon testing. Scientists analyzed the enamel from the camel tooth. The result was astonishing, approximately 18,250 years before present. Before present, or BP, is a convention based on the year 1950, the starting point for widespread radiocarbon dating and before nuclear testing began to affect global carbon levels. But this was only the beginning. 
excavators also uncovered meticulously crafted stone scrapers made from orange agate, a material not found in the basalt walls of the shelter. It was exotic, intentionally brought in from elsewhere. Ancient humans either traveled to procure it or obtained it through trade. One of these scrapers tested positive for preserved bison blood proteins, proof that it had been used to butcher Ice Age bison, Bison antiquus, a larger ancestor of today's buffalo. Ancient proteins survive when they become locked inside microscopic cracks in the stone, shielded from bacteria and sunlight. This residue offered undeniable proof of human activity, clearer, stronger, and older than anything found before. Another agate scraper was unearthed even deeper beneath more layers of volcanic ash. Its position revealed something profound. Humans were present at Rimrock Draw not only before the 15,600-year-old eruption, but significantly earlier. The deeper the artifacts, the older the occupation. This is where geology steps in. The law of superposition, a cornerstone of archaeological science, states that in undisturbed sediment, lower layers are older than those above. Because the camel tooth, dated to 18,250 BP, was found above deeper stone tools, those deeper artifacts must be even older. This means Rimrock Draw is currently the oldest confirmed human occupation site in North America, predating the Clovis culture by more than 5,000 years. Some archaeologists now believe the site may be far older still. The widely cited 18,250-year date is only a minimum age, a no-later-than marker because it comes from an animal bone rather than a directly dated human tool or hearth. The true age may approach or even surpass 20,000 years. As excavations continue and more deeply buried tools are analyzed, especially those containing preserved blood proteins, the full story of early American settlement may finally begin to crystallize. And with each new discovery, we move closer to answering one of the greatest questions in human history. Who were the first Americans, and when did they truly arrive on this continent? Thank you for watching. If this story fascinated you, consider liking, subscribing, leaving a comment with your thoughts, and sharing this discovery with someone who loves history. Until the next breakthrough, farewell.